Hey guys, welcome back for day four of your Summer Shred series. Today we'll be going in on a 12 minute calisthenics, body weight only workout for the upper body. So we'll be covering the back, chest, shoulders, biceps, and triceps all in these 12 minutes, and it is going to burn. Now be sure to check out the free guide that I've given you in the links below. It'll tell you what workouts are coming up next in the series. Smash that thumbs up button for me and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the new workouts I put out for you every single week. Guys ready? Let's tone up. Okay, so hair is up, donut shirts engaged. Let's get started with our workout. In terms of format today, we're gonna start the first three minutes covering the backs of the arms, the tricep area, and then the next six minutes after that are gonna be for back, chest, and shoulders, and then we're gonna finish it off with a three-minute bicep burner. So starting off our first exercise with tricep dips, we're gonna have our hands facing our feet. We're gonna lift up through the hips, come down using the arms, give me a pulse, and back up. Starting our workout in three, two, one. So hands are directly below the shoulders. Come down for me, give me a pulse, and come back up. 40 seconds each, you get that 20 seconds rest between. But by all means, if you guys wanna keep going through that rest, you are more than welcome to, because the more effort you put in here, and the more tension you put on those muscles, the better results you're gonna get out of this. So squeeze that core tight, face straight ahead, come down for me, give me a pulse, and straight up. Those shoulders are rounded back and down, squeezing those triceps at the top. This is gonna light up our arm muscles pretty quickly. So you will start to feel it in about 10 seconds. Come down, pulse, and bring it up. Two more, down and pulse, bring it up. Last time down, pulse, up, and release. We're gonna go back into that position, but this time we're gonna straighten the legs out, flex the feet, and come up, lifting those hips up into the air. Now from here, you've got that Five seconds rest, so in three seconds, I want you to come up. Starting now, hands right below the shoulders. Just hold this position for a second for me. I just want you to get adjusted. Squeeze the abs in, squeeze the glutes. Now gently lower yourself down into that pulse and back up using the arms. So we're not bending the hips, we're not bending the legs here. We're only using our arms. Now right now should be right about the moment where you're saying, okay, yes, I feel it in my arms. Come down and pulse and lift up nice and high. Lift those hips up higher. If you feel the hips starting to droop, I just want you to come down to the floor for a second and then bring it back up. You've got eight seconds to go here. Let's take it two more times. Give me a pulse down, lift up, and last time, pulse, lift, and release. Okay, last exercise for our triceps. We're gonna come into a press up on our knees. So feet are together, squeeze that core in really tight, and your hands are slightly in front. From here, you're gonna draw the elbows in towards the waist and bring yourself down to the floor and back up. Squeeze those abs in, let's get started. So elbows in towards the waist, coming down to the floor, hold for just a second, and press yourself back up. Squeezing those triceps, shoulders back and down, eye gaze straight ahead, down towards the mat, and thinking about those nice, sexy tone arms you're about to have after this workout. I know it's only 12 minutes, but it is going to burn, and you're gonna feel it in those muscles by the end. You might not like me right now, but you're gonna love me at the end of it. Come down and lift yourself up. Take it slow. The nice thing with these body weight exercises is you really get to focus on the muscle that you're working, that back of the arm tricep area. Let's take it down one more time, and hold for three, two, one. Lift up, and you can release. All right, moving into the back, chest, and shoulders. Six minutes of this, I want you to come down to your stomach here and squeeze the glutes, squeeze the abs. Let's face that head down towards the mat. Bring the arms in front, and we're gonna squeeze the elbows back and towards the waist. Let's get started. Now, as you bring those arms back, I want you to really squeeze those shoulders. So imagine that you have a sponge between your shoulders and you're trying to squeeze the water out of that sponge every last drop. Really work those muscles, and if you wanna make this more difficult, you're gonna lift both of those feet up off the floor, still squeezing the thighs and the glutes together. Great job, everybody. 15 more seconds on this exercise. This workout is gonna fly by. Keep going, squeeze it in towards the waist, lifting that chest up a little bit higher for three, two, on one, you can release down. So we're staying in this position here. We're gonna go into some hundreds. So for this, still squeezing those glutes and those legs together, take those arms, we're gonna bring them behind us and turn the palms up. From here, facing straight down, 
we're going to lift and pulse. So lifting those shoulders up off the ground, rounding them back and down. Let's get going, timer's going. We're started and just pulsing up and down. 40 seconds, you can make it through 40 seconds. Squeeze those shoulders, think about those results and engage those abs the whole time thinking about working those back muscles, getting the most out of it. Body weight exercise, but man, it can burn. Keep going. You're halfway through this exercise. From there, we're gonna move into, you know what, I'll surprise you with it. <laughs> I don't want you to leave me. All right, for 10, nine, eight, seven, squeeze it, five, four, three, two, and one, release down. All right, our next exercise, because it would not be a body weight arms exercise without it, we're gonna hold in a plank position, a side plank. So if you've been on your knees up to now, I want you to try to come up to those feet. You can either stagger the feet or you can have them on top of each other. I will give you the option of a low side plank. So either one, we're just holding here for these 40 seconds. 40 seconds, you can get through this 40 seconds. Bring those hips up high, pulling through the waist. Abs are really tight, and if you want the advanced version of this, you're gonna take that top foot and just rest it against your calf. Now, like I said before, if you've been on your knees up to now, I want you to come into this plank position. You can do this for just holding, no movement here, just isolating those muscles for 10 more seconds. If you are on that knee, come up right now for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and on one, you can release it down. From here, you're gonna take that bottom arm and wrap around your waist. So relaxing that top leg, straighten that out, bend knee on the lower leg, and we're gonna take that front hand, we're gonna lift up into a triceps and chest push up. So again, squeezing that chest and tricep muscle in three, two, one. Lift me up, press through that palm, and lift yourself up. Slow, controlled movements. Focusing on form, not racing through it, because as we lower ourselves and bring ourselves up a little bit slower, we're gonna feel more tension in those muscles than if we're just sporadically going up and down off the floor. So bring yourself down, squeeze the abs in, and lift up. Might feel a little strange, but you are gonna feel it in the back of the arm, as well as right here in that groveled area. Really good exercise for toning up that area. Keep going. And it's a nice break before we move to the other side, back into that high plank, right? For three, two, bring yourself down slow, and then we're gonna get into position on the other side. Guys, we've only got five more exercises to go. We're more than halfway through, keep pushing. So now we're gonna go back into that side plank. Again, just holding this position. You have the option, either that onto the forearm or onto the hand. You can stagger the feet, you can rest them on top of each other, or you can have it on your calf for the advance. Bring that arm up into the air if you can. If not, just hold it right here, no problem. Face both those hips forward and squeeze those abs in. Now give me a smile because you just got up off that knee. I know you did. There's no way you didn't. You've got to push past that comfort zone to get those results. If you're not sweating just a little bit by now, then I need you to push a little bit harder. Keep holding. You've got 15 more seconds. We're almost there. Almost there. Last time you have to do this exercise. Sort of. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We'll get there. For five, four, three, two, and one. Gently bring yourself down to the mat and wrap that arm underneath your waist. So just holding it around, bent leg at the bottom, straight leg at the top, <clears throat> press that palm in right in front of pretty much where your bicep lies. And in three, and two, and one, you're gonna press through that palm and lift your body up off the floor. Again, control that movement. Think about the muscle that you're working. You're gonna feel it a little bit in the biceps as well. And these shoulders should be pretty lit up by now. You should be feeling pretty warm and feeling that tension in the muscles. Building strength, that's all what this series is about. We're building our strength up, we're getting stronger, more powerful, every single rep that we do is gonna make a difference. You do wanna do this workout two times through. And like I said before, if you were on that knee before, I want you to start to bring yourself up. That is how you're gonna make progress and get those results for five, four, three, one last time, two, and one, release it down. Okay, moving into the biceps. Last three exercises. We're gonna take it into a high to low plank. So you're gonna come up onto your toes and have those hands right below the shoulder. 
We're gonna come down and bring ourselves up, alternating sides. Let's get started. So into that high plank. Now gently bring yourself down onto the forearms and lift back up, pressing through those palms, shoulders back and down. You've got 30 seconds left here. It's gonna go by so fast. Just push through it. You can do this. I know that you can. Let it burn. <laughs> Let the sweat roll down. And know that you've only got two more minutes left. And then you have completed day four. So push through. We've got this. Ten more seconds here. Minimal sway in that upper body. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the abs. Straight line from head to shoulder to back to butt. For five, four, three. Hold at the top for two and one. All right, release it down. So I did say that was our last side plank. It is, but it wasn't. So for this, we're gonna come onto a side plank. This is one of my favorites. We're gonna lift up, come to the center. We're gonna do a wide push up, flip around, quick hold, come back, wide push up. Starting in that high plank position, let's turn over to the left. Lift that arm up, come back towards the center, and elbows come out in a wide A shape as you come down, lift back up, Onto that other side, come back to the center and do that push up. Now, this time, if you need to come to your knees for that push up, that is all right, but I do want you to work on getting stronger and getting to the point where you can do that push up in the high plank position. All right, lift that arm up, twist to the center. 10 more seconds. Let's take it one more time on either side. Lift up to the center, into that push up, and give me one last rotation. Ignore the timer. One last push up for me. Come down and lift up. Woo! How do we feel, guys? We've got one last exercise left. We are going to finish this off really strong. So I want you to come back into your plank position, this time with the knees bent. We're going to lift up into a tabletop plank hold. From here, we're going to hold for five, four, three, two, one, come down for a second and lift back up for five, four, knees barely touching the mat, two, one, pop down and lift back up. This time, taking a shoulder tap on either side. So you're lifting that arm and tapping the opposite shoulder. It's not easy, it is not easy, but you're gonna press through the opposite toe of the hand that you're pressing into. It's gonna help you keep stability. Try not to rock that lower body for the last eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, last one, and release it down. Woo! How did that feel, everybody? Comment your favorite exercise from this workout below for me, and I will see you for the next. Congratulations on making it through day four of your Summer Shred series. Don't forget to do this workout two times through, and also check out the link below that I've given you my bonus recipe in. It includes a recipe for a drink that I use every morning that does help me with gut inflammation, helps reduce bloating, as well as improve my energy, metabolism, and nutrient absorption for the day. So definitely check that out. It's in the link below the free guide that I've given you for this series telling you what workouts are coming up next. Speaking of which, our next workout for day five is gonna be covering the glutes with a set of weights as well as a chair as an optional piece of equipment. So let's get ready for that. And before you go, just make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the next workout. Take it easy.